Australian school requires family to denounce homosexuality. This is crazy. In Australia, on January 28th, uh, City Point Christian College in Brisbane, Australia, rec received complaints due to enrollment contracts that openly criticize homosexuality and impose conservative religious views. The school is asking students' parents to sign a statement that lists moral acts such as incest, bestiality, uh, pedophilia. I think we all know what I'm saying. Uh, we're just saying that because of the YouTube algorithm. Uh, homosexuality and bisexuality as sins offensive to God and therefore against the school's values. The school also declared that they will accept admissions based on um, children's gender corresponding to their biological sex. Uh, an online petition against the school's transphobic and homophobic rules has received 141,000 signatures um, so far, or at the time of writing. Pastor Brian uh, Mulheron, principal of the college, sent an email to all the parents in response to the criticism, stating that the rules are established to, quote, ensure that we retain our Christian ethos, which is the foundation of which has made the college what it is today. A group of parents decided to take their complaint to the Human Rights Commission. So, Susanna, as a bisexual yourself, how do you feel you, bisexuality being put next to bestiality and incest? <laughs> well, obviously <laughs> that's not great. But frankly, I spent a lot of time today. I'm not even kidding. Think about, because they talk about bisexual acts. I'm like, what is a bisexual act? You either have a heterosexual act or a homosexual act. But what is a bisexual act? Like, Threesome? are you involved with two it's, at the same time? Yeah, like, what's going on to, here? The only way you could do a bisexual act is that if you're, like, doing an orgy or a threesome. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was going <gonna> to <laughs> ask, like, shouldn't you be telling us how to do a bisexual <laughs> act? <laughs> um, um, okay, but a lot of people in the live chat are surprised that this could happen in Australia. Oh, yeah, see, people are agreeing with me. A threesome. A threesome. It's the Damn, only so solution. You're big but I've never heard it said as a bisexual act before. That was just hilarious <laughs> to me. <laughs> the bisexual act. Like, actually, that means that, hey, wait, that means that a lot of bisexuals have never committed a bisexual act. Exactly. Okay, then you're failing at being bisexual. <laughs> how could you? <laughs> like, how? Like, I'm a bisexual, and I've never done a bisexual act. I've done homosexual acts or heterosexual acts, but never a bisexual one. Damn. Damn. You have to, like, exactly. break the bisexual. Yeah, you're a bisexual virgin. Anyways. Oh, Mustafa has. See? All right. Um, okay. People. Okay. So what was I saying? I totally forgot. Uh, yeah. People were surprised that this is happening in Australia. Like, this could happen, like, something like this. It. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm actually a bit surprised as well. Like, did this person can like apparently? Okay, so people are saying that the principal either resigned, or AJ is giving us the other version of it, like saying the, the principal has since taken an extended leave. So Australia is a place, at least, where stuff like this would get you in trouble. So that's a good. It thing. received a huge backlash. So they have since revoked that portion of their enrol enrollment requirements. Um, so that's a good thing. And yeah, it, it, it's been a huge, huge, huge backlash. Like people are like, are you freaking kidding me? Like there were legal actions that might still be taken against them. It's it become a very big deal. Um, the backdrop of this is that in Australia, there's a lot of controversy and going back and forth about this anti-discrimination law or um, proposed law and the verbiage surrounding it. So it, when you first hear about this, it sounds like it's a law that's supposed to be to protect people against discrimination on the basis of being LGBTQ. But then you like unpack it and you realize that this is actually an anti-discrimination law because it's to protect religious people from being discriminated against because of their views, bigoted wow. views towards anti-LGBT people. and. 
To wow. be completely honest, we, I haven't covered this on the news so far because the complications of this law and the implications is something that I don't really understand. Um, and it's a little complicated. Um, and then the way that the different parties are going back and forth on it. Um, so th that's why we haven't covered it here. And I can't really like get into detail explaining what it is at this point, but that is the general backdrop that's happening. And, um, I'm sure like the Australians in the chat could explain that a little bit better than I can. Um, but this has caused a lot of controversy because the current prime minister, correct me if I'm wrong, Aussies, um, Scott Morrison, he is actually in support of like the, um, uh, like the church biased side of this proposed bill. And so this incident at this college, which is a K through 12 school, um, highlighted to a lot of people, the dangers of what this kind of legislation could look like in practice, where they're saying they're being, they're allowed to openly discriminate. And the school tried to clarify that actually well, okay, they are, they would be mandating that children wear uniforms according to their biological sex. And you are, but you're welcome to be trans or you're welcome to be gay at their school. Basically, your family just has to agree that it's immoral, a sin incomparable to bestiality. And you, you're, you're like allowed to be trans at their school. You just have to wear a uniform according to your biological sex. It, other, if you're not, that that is a condition of enrollment and um, and it could be grounds for, you know, maybe expulsion or something. However, this actually, this particularly the, the, the uniform issue with the transgender students, um, I think might actually be illegal. Um, in, I don't know about uh, uh, in Australia nationally, but maybe just within that province. Um, so there are aspects of this that would have possibly run afoul of the law either way. Um, but because of the huge backlash, um, a lot of this has been revoked, but it's not, people are still not like standing for it at all. Yeah. Oh, Kiki okay. saying, yes, Scott Morrison is Christian and pro-Christian very much. So, um, I think, oh, secularity saying, I heard the current prime minister, prime minister, Scott Morrison is a dick. <laughs> Just passing along the info. <laughs> I have heard Thank that as you. well. Thank you for passing it on. Um, um, wait, there okay. was one thing. Yeah, so here's part of the statement of faith section of the City Point College enrollment contracts. It states that, quote, we believe that God intends sexual intimacy to only occur between a man and woman who are married to each other. Continuing, we believe that any form of sexual immorality, including but not limited to adultery, fornication, homosexual acts, bisexual acts, bestiality, incest, pedophilia, and um, adult films is sinful and offensive to God and is destructive to, to human relationships and society. And we believe that God created human beings as male or female. Um, and uh, I think that this, so the principle, this is, this is the kind of rhetoric that comes from Christians that makes me so freaking angry. Just listen to this. So this is the principle, like I said, we have always held Christian beliefs and we have tried to be fair and transparent to everyone in our community by making them clear in the enrollment contract. We are seeking to maintain our Christian ethos and give students and parents a right to make an informed decision about whether they can support and embrace our approach to Christian education. And then the, this is what really pisses me off. We believe each individual is created in the image of God with dignity and worth equal to every other person. We unequivocally love and respect all people, regardless of their lifestyles and choices, even if those choices are different from our beliefs and practices. Like, <laughs> this triggers me so much. I don't know. What's your reaction to that? There's no hate like Christian love. That's what they say, right? um yeah it's just like it's so amazing how people could be so bigoted and so discriminatory and act like they're being loving at the same time nobody does that better than christians and it's so annoying it's so fucking annoying like the the contrast between how hateful they act and how proud they are of being actually loving <laughs> <laughs> and thinking like they're better than everybody and it's, it's so moral. fake it's, it's so, so saccharine so, so inauthentic 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> you ain't know what you think. Like, who are you kidding? This whole mm. like, oh, hate the sin, love the sinner. It's it's bullshit, and it's so um, it's so gross. Johnny Mayer is saying it's condescension wrapped in fakeness or inauthenticity. Yeah, it's so true. One thing I will say that I agree with this present pre principle on is when he's saying that we believe that, you know, students and parents should be able to make an informed decision about enrolling their kids here. Well, I actually agree with him on that. There are tons of students and parents who are now like, actually, we don't want our kids to go here. This isn't cool. We don't like this. So a lot of people are going to be making informed decisions about the attitudes and teachings of this school because of this incident. So that that right. is one thing we will agree on. Yeah. Um, yes. On Twitch, we have to highlight Twitch comments because, you know, we want to highlight the fact that we are also live on Twitch. Link in the description. Uh, Devout Atheist Sean is saying, I'm glad that non-religious is the fastest growing demographic in the USA. Yes, and everywhere else. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.